In South Korea, dive teams are working tirelessly to save passengers who may be alive under a capsized ferry. 25 are confirmed dead, but more than 250, many of them teenagers, are unaccounted for. Today, the ferry captain made his first public appearance as shocking allegations came to light about how he and his crew dealt with the emergency. The rescue effort is focused here, 20 kilometres off the coast of South Korea. Our story tonight from the CBC's Adam Walsh in Sejong City. It's been two days now since the Sewol sank with hundreds on board. A huge five-deck ferry and all that's left to see is the tip. The hope? That survivors may still be found in air pockets. Rescue divers again headed out to try to get into the submerged vessel. Yesterday, divers couldn't even get close. We made five to eight attempts, says this Coast Guard official. The problem? Winds and currents were too strong. At the same time, the ship's captain, Lee Jun Suk, emerged and apologized. I am so sorry and I am shamed. I am at a loss for words, he said. He is still in police custody and is facing a criminal investigation. Families of the passengers are furious. One reason, this announcement as the ferry was sinking, captured on amateur video. <laughs> Do not move from where you are now. Don't move because it's more dangerous if you move, said an unnamed crew member. And also, witnesses say the captain and some crew were among the first off in one of only two lifeboats launched. <laughs> At this hospital on the south coast, <laughs> devastated families of victims grieved as they were called to identify bodies. Most of the missing are from this high school. They were on a field trip to a resort island. This woman's grandchild is one of the missing. <laughs> Where are you now, Ji Hoon? She says. I'm anxious about your return with your mom and dad. Please come back to us alive. <laughs> this little girl survived the sinking, rescued by the Coast Guard. But her parents and brother are still missing. The president of the ferry company could barely stand when he addressed the media. <laughs> Executives and employees of the Chung Hae Jin Marine Office have committed a grave sin, he says. Korea's president has ordered an investigation and said those responsible will be punished. But for now, the focus remains on the desperate search for survivors. Adam Walsh, CBC News, Sejong City, South Korea.